What do you do with the sinning brother? By that I mean the guy caught in a sin. What do you do with that guy? Listen, I've seen this misused over and over again in churches. I pastored churches for 30 years. I've been a part of the church for 75 years. And I see this misused constantly, okay? Let's say the preacher gets caught in um, sexual impropriety, okay? And they go to him, talk to him about it. And he admits that he, he was wrong and he did what was wrong. You know what they do next? They go out and announce it to the church, put it in the church paper, make it absolutely public. You know what that is? That is absolutely 100%, 180 degrees out of phase with the instructions that Jesus gave us. And you know what I think? I think we ought to be doing what Jesus said. What do you think? I, you probably agree with me. Jesus gave us some very specific instruction about that. And it's in Matthew 18, 15 through 17. Listen, what, listen to what Jesus said. If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between you, just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you've won your brother. What does that mean? I mean, you go talk to the dude, okay? And if he listens to you and accepts the fact that he was wrong, you won your brother. End of discussion, right? Verse 16, 16, but if he will not listen to you, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he doesn't listen to you one-on-one, -on -one, take a couple other people with you and confront him again, okay? See if that'll do it. You're trying to restore the guy. You're not trying to get him. You're trying to restore him. So you take a couple of witnesses to verify everything that's said and see if you can restore him that way. Verse 17, if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. If he won't listen to the two dudes you take with you, tell it to the church. And then the, this is the fourth step. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, treat him as you would a pagan and a tax collector. There's four steps. And it's not about gotcha. It's about how can I restore the sinning brother? It's how can I restore the sinning brother? Number one, go to your brother one-on-one. -on -one. And talk to him about it. Tell him what, what you've heard that he did. See if you can get him to admit it. And you will have restored your brother. Then it's over. If he won't do it, if he won't fess up and get it straight, take one or two others with you and see if you can get him to confess his sin and get him restored. If he won't, then you tell it to the church. And if, if, if that doesn't work, you treat him as you would a pagan. You treat him as an outsider, as a as a complete non-believer. Churches get this wrong all the time. They absolutely, almost every time. Why won't churches listen to Jesus and restore people and keep their mouths shut if the guy admits that he sinned? I don't understand that. I don't understand. But you know what? Pass that on to someone. It's an important thing to understand about what Jesus taught. Hope you'll hang on to that. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Make comments. Help me get the biblical teaching out to more people. Bless your hearts. Have a great day.